these are not the Dollar Tree dinners you are looking for. I'm actually here at Walmart this morning. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina for the Mad Monster Party, hence all of the stuff behind me. And we got into the hotel last night, so this morning I headed to my nearest store, which is Walmart in this instance, and I'm going to pick up some things that we need for the hotel because I do like to grocery shop when I am traveling to save money on food so we're not eating out all the time. So it may not be the overall cheapest option, but it is cheaper than getting takeout or going out to eat and stuff like that. So we're going to head on into Walmart and pick up a few things and I'll take you along with me. So I'm going to go ahead and put the prices up on screen while I talk about what I bought and why because sometimes the cheapest option isn't always the best option depending on the situation. So first of all, breakfast sandwiches. I know hotels usually offer a free breakfast, but eating first thing in the morning can sometimes make me feel sick, so I do like to buy breakfast sandwiches. We also just eat these for snacks. And in this case, it was cheaper for me to get the name brand breakfast sandwiches than it was for me to get the store brand. It ended up being about a dollar cheaper to get this 12 pack of Jimmy Dean versus three of these Walmart brands. I also like to buy coffee because while the hotel does have free coffee, I like iced coffee better than hot coffee and it ends up being cheaper than going to Starbucks every day after all. For the actual dinner, I'm going to be making these cheesy beef and rice burritos and I made these entirely in the multi cooker so let me show you what I got for that. Starting off with a box of this cheesy Mexican rice by Old El Paso, this is one of our household favorites. Followed by a packet of taco seasoning, this great value was the best price at 48 cents. Next, a pound of ground beef. I got the cheapest one I could find, which was $73.27, and I actually prefer this because it has a better texture than the leaner meats. A splurge item was this Taco Bell chipotle sauce, but we adore this sauce, and it adds so much depth and flavor, so it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Block cheese is usually cheapest, but considering I'm in a hotel with limited kitchen tools, I don't have a way to grate it, so I had to get pre-shredded Fiesta Blend cheese. I always try to find the smallest packages when staying in a hotel, so this was the smallest tub of sour cream I could find. And lastly, these great value tortillas are excellent and a really good price, so I did pick up a pack of those. And so the total for this meal comes out to less than $15, and this will feed us three times. It's only the second week of using this multi-cooker, and I'm still convinced that it's one of the best purchases I have made, especially for travel and staying in a hotel, just because the meals that I can make are so much better quality than I could make in the microwave and so convenient. Here I am starting off with my pound of ground beef, and I am using the saute function on the multi-cooker, and just the rice paddle that came with it. I do pack a small amount of kitchen essentials, but I try to keep it very minimal. Anything I bring with me has to fit inside of the multi-cooker. Once my beef was browned, I tried to remove as much of the fat as I could. I actually drained some of it off into a coffee cup because I don't want to pour it down the hotel sink, so I just dispose of it in the trash once it's solidified. I added my drained beef back into my multi-cooker along with the taco seasoning and a splash of water, and I let this cook for just a couple of minutes so that the taco seasoning can bloom. Next, I added in the bag of rice, two cups of water, and the seasoning packet from the rice. At this point, I switched the multi-cooker over to the rice feature, close the lid, and allow it to cook until it says it's done. And now it's time to assemble our burrito. Starting off with a flour tortilla, I added a layer of sour cream, followed by some chipotle sauce and some shredded cheese, and then I finished it off with some of my beef and rice mixture folded it up, and then you can definitely eat this as is, but I thought an extra fun step would be to try to see if I could grill the tortilla using the saute function, and that actually worked really well. So I just wanted to show that even if you're staying in a hotel or some sort of temporary housing, maybe you don't have a working oven or stovetop, but using an appliance like the multi-cooker can help you make some really beautiful and delicious meals your family will enjoy.